This episode is brought to you by Galveston Pepper Company, 3J Sports. Guys, what's going on? We got the jerseys out. How do y'all feel? Let's go. Jeremy, 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 you feeling good about the blue? We're feeling great about the blue, man. Uh, I wish there was more of it, but I'm still loving it. Um, you know, I wish we had more, more blue, but Tennessee wanted to cry about it. But it's all good. I think they look clean. I really like them a lot. Uh, the H, still getting used to it. You know, I, I don't know. I kind of would like to see the, uh, you know, the bull maybe in blue outline on the helmet, but it's still really clean. Uh, I like them a lot. Yeah, it looks good to me. Uh, John, how you feel about that? I know you had a little bit of mixed feelings mm-hmm. in the beginning, but is it growing on you? I mean, I just don't like using. Well, that. as far as the color rush, the color rush jersey. I mean, just in general, I don't just don't like the using that blue for it. You want us to let go of the blue, let move on. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Personally, yeah. Oh, I, I dig it. I dig it. I'm down with it. The H, I think, is a kind of a play off the Sam Houston old school kind of lettering and all that with the trash. You saw the trash bag they had on them today. Uh, that was looked like the jersey. You know what I mean? A big old. At least that's what it kind of looked like to me. For some reason, oh. it was like shimmering or whatever. But it was the big old. Uh, bag but jeremy jersey mimic like the uh the h-town color rush looking yeah. pretty good uh, i thought that was pretty awesome what do you think Jay? yeah man that was nice uh, the sam houston was all decked out 65 foot statue that was awesome too yeah it was sick man oh awesome. yeah uh yep. well, let me jump through some of these uh jerseys let's check them out man let's check them out we got that one the whites are looking clean stingly looking sharp Yep. Let's just see if we can do that in the season. That's what I want right there. I want some INTs. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, build, build on what we did last year. I like the I like the shoulders. I like the, the darker navy. Yeah, I like the horns. Yeah, let's check a look at the horn. Is that what it's supposed to be? What's on that? On the shoulder? Yeah, it's horns. Yeah, I like it. I like all yeah, the... Uh, I don't know. Tank Dell makes it all look good when he's going to be scoring <laughs> those touchdowns. Right? It just looks a little like asymmetrical, like it, like. But like I said before, we'll see him on the field. But I don't know. I like the I mean, a lot, so. Yeah, I, I think it was time for a change. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm digging exactly what we did. Kept the helmets with the symbol. Everything all out there, you know, on the helmet looks fine. Nothing crazy changed except adding in the red, which everybody loved the red. Let's see if yeah. I get one of those going. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I think these it are clean. I'm not even a big fan of red, but those are so clean. The um, helmet, that helmet, man, it's candy painted, chromed out, like that's sweet. I'll be sure to add the picture of Tank Dale in the one that you sent me earlier with the flash, and oh, yeah. uh, you know, all, I mean, the one where he has the white pants and the red top, and yep. then um, all those just look so daggum good, man. He looks so clean, all decked out in that red from head to toe. Yeah, honestly, I wish, I wish that would take over, uh, and be our um, like home, the home ones. I wish they would wear really because we can only wear those in the uh, H Town ones three times. So I don't know that helmet so clean, just it just looks so good. Um, I don't know. the The whites look good too. But the blues look good, but I just yeah, I think that the H Town yeah. and the red look the best. That red helmet reminds me of the Vikings, kind of. Um, yeah, you were saying that earlier a little bit, the, the Viking swoosh, <laughs> that it's the got horn. The, the horn to it. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it makes sense. They're both horns, just a different take on it. And I think it's a little, with the double horn, it kind of looks, uh, it looks sharp, man. Yeah. I like the red. Do you like the red? Or you just do yeah, it? Yeah, I think the, the white red are my the favorite uh, out of all of them, for sure. Yeah, the red. Which is cool because you didn't really care for the red ones the previous <laughs> one Anderson, baby. Like the one, the H, the new H. I don't, I mean, I just, I don't. There's the new H right there. It's, to me, it doesn't look good on my helmet. I don't know. It looks like a Madden yeah. logo. Like, you go through Madden and you, you can choose, like, the old right. ones. You know what I mean? But like I yeah. said, let's see him on the, see, I heard doing the last one real quick here. With the, I wonder if you zoom in on the helmet. 
they were saying it's got red the, sparkles. Uh, yeah, red sparkles in it too. Yeah, there's, you can see there's a lot there. of red sparkles all in up in here. I mean, um, and coming off the which I don't know if it's supposed to be like spur like, but um, the star right here, the red star from the uh, the bull eye. But um, I dig it, man. Yeah, and that and that blue has been around a long time. Like it's, you know, the police departments used it, the city hall used it, the rocks have used it. Like it's not, I don't know, it's not just the Oilers blue. Like it's 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 just a throwback to just that blue. It's like a Houston blue. It's it's been in the city for a long time. So right, but it's from the Oilers. I mean. I think they're using it before that. Thing. It's the Oilers. It's Columbia Blue. Oilers Blue. It's no, I know. I know what you're saying, but I think it was yeah. before well, that. Well, I've heard a lot of people saying H-Town Blue, or is that what this is coming from? Yeah, it's yeah. – because, I mean, I've seen pictures of, like, the police department and, like, City Hall and all that way before. Like, um, So, I, I don't know. I think they might have originated from before. I think maybe that's where the Columbia oh, Blue yeah, came the case, from. Then, okay. then, for sure. I think there's some history behind it, so – I don't know. I, I just I like it. I like the way it uh, like the way it looks. So, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's see. Let's see him on the field. You know, could feel totally different with. Yeah. You know. Yeah. When they're scoring touchdowns, they look they look really good. But it, it's just it, to me, it's a newer style. Like D'Amico had a comment. He was talking to the the players, and he was like, "Man, y'all wearing the same jerseys I did." So it's I don't. Know, I think it's cool. You know, if you like, just to say, if we would have won Super Bowls, then yeah, don't you know, maybe don't change the jerseys because you have history. It's kind of like you know, old school. Uh, you keep your stuff, Green Bay Bears, all that. But we haven't won anything yet, so I'm good with changing it, making it new age. You know, just uh, mixing up a little bit. So maybe we'll have better luck in these. I like the darker blue. Uh, the red is just so I I I, I want to call it just a red because that's the uh, on Annandale with her Tony was bam you know popping which I don't know if it was just because the photography they're changing with the you know the colors in the picture but man it's a it's a pretty wicked wicked red yeah yeah and the the color that's pretty mm -hmm. cool just the their font I don't know I just I like these overall better than any of the jerseys we had before like yeah, all, got, all, all yeah. the new jerseys i like them better than the ones we had before it's got the good our symbol the emblem on the side there and then it says h-town inside the neck which you can't see within the uh right in the which what are we calling this h-town blue i mean i think so uh, that's what i would call it but they well, had to do something blue. to get a you know, blue. blue got the oh, new still, jerseys oh, looking still. good Steel blue. S steel blue. Yeah. So like blue steel. <laughs> blue steel. Well, I mean, what the original name, like Columbia Blue. They I can't turn uh, left. Well, it's actually deep steel blue, uh, Liberty White, and Battle Red are the right. Oh, is that what okay? Okay. But the but the new blue. I mean, is that you know the new blue? It's not necessarily Columbia blue. blue. It's 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 like it, but it's I don't know. Um, I even like how on, no, no, no. on that new. Oh, are they new. saying that's because these are darker. Yeah, yeah, this is a darker navy. Yeah, but they they were saying I was watching the uh, thing about it. They were saying that the original jerseys were darker. They had lightened them up a little bit as the years went by. Oh, okay, <clears throat> so this is going back to the like original David Cardays. Yeah, Billy Mi Billy Miller scoring a touchdown against the Cowboys. Right. Yep. Good times. That's great to me. But yeah, the the helmets, I like all the helmets, um, for sure. Even on the H one that I was getting used to, I like the the blue bull on the back. So that's pretty cool. And then on, on the jerseys where they say it's Houston, then H Town, and did any of them say Texans? I know that the blue ones are H Town in the front. Oh, Right. You better watch out. He's coming for you. All yep. your quarterbacks. It's going to have a big year because they're going to have to worry about, man, it's going to be nice. He's coming for we, you. We got a lot more pass rush coming this year. Mm -hmm. Man, it feels like we've been waiting on this moment for a while now, talking about the jerseys and getting the getting everything going and rolling and 
YouTube and it's looking uh it's good to see that they're finally here and you know I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with them. I can't wait to get one uh off my what you gonna, what are you gonna my get my favorite websites, you know, HoustonTexas.com, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Uh, what uh okay. what are you gonna get the store that reliant or NRG? NRG, yeah. Team shop. Check it out. Um well, even though we got the jerseys of re- release and everything, I mean, we don't have much uh, going on tomorrow night for the most part. But uh, besides watching the draft and enjoying some of the uh, the draft picks going, besides Caleb Williams, which everybody's going about him, Jimmy, I, I got a question for you, man. Are you are you really that impressed with Drake May or Bo Nix? Or Jaden Dan or uh Jay is it Jaden Daniels? Yeah, I would say Daniels. Jaden Daniels. Uh, Jaden Daniels. Some. Uh, I don't know. People aren't talking about uh, what's the different Washington uh, Penix, Michael Michael Penix, whatever. Like he, it's he has a hell of an arm. Like nobody's really talking about him. I think he's a little older, and I know he had injury history before, but. Uh, and I know he struggled a little bit against the top defense in the championship game, but in Michigan, but he's a really good player. Drake May, I don't – honestly, I don't get it. Um, Jane Daniels is an athlete. He had a great season, but I don't know. I, honestly, I don't even know what Caleb Williams is going to do. He might end up being, but people are talking about him like he's going to come out and put up C.J. Stroud numbers, but that doesn't happen very often. Like Stroud probably yeah, I mean, had the best rookie year for a quarterback. You know, yeah, that's what you, I mean, big time is going to get into that kind of thing. It's like how the bar set kind of with newer, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, um, TJ Stroud. It's one of those things where it's like, I mean, none of those dudes to me are like front runner level to where, yeah, uh, I mean, I mean Justin really Fields, uh, you know, Kaminsky, all these quarterbacks that you drafted, super yeah. high. And their game just does not translate to the NFL for some reason, whether it's coordinators or, you know. Right. Now, I will say, Kid Williams, like, he is really talented. And Chicago has put a lot of receivers in front of him. So, you know, he could have a really good year, honestly. But I don't know. Uh, we'll see how he does. I mean, they're pretty much already sold on him. But honestly, I think Marvin Harrison, man, he's probably going to go like four but because everybody needs quarterbacks. But. Cardinals are going to get a great player. I'm just wondering if we, uh, and maybe if we trade into the bottom of the first round, if we trade up, if somebody drops, or if we're going to be comfortable waiting, at, you know, deep down at two. Yeah, we'll see. Actually, we'll, I should stay where we're at. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't see us doing too much here. I mean, I think we yeah. got now. We're just focusing on the season, and I mean, of course, making the picks first and making the get yeah. the draft moving on but uh but i think yeah. they've made the moves and they're probably just finally like relaxing and saying all right we finally we get to relax the best, next best player that we need and for, yeah. For, yeah yeah put the squad together and we'll see what it turned you know for sure because for um, agent they did so much for agency like it's going to be this is probably the first year in a long time that the rookies they're gonna have to really you know fight to even get playing time because we're we're pretty stacked you know, for the first time, just we're deep. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I agree. I mean, like you said, well, yeah. I just try. I mean, if we trade up, cool. I guess depending on what the terms would be, but I'm cool with where we're at and just adding, you know, adding talent, developing it, and you know, if you'd like to contribute, make the roster, and, you know, yeah, great backup for a. I'm ready to see Stefan did. What numbers he wearing? We found um, out. Man, I should. Man, I don't even know, honestly. I think he's wearing number one. I don't know. I saw that somewhere. It was like 713. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's one. 713 thing, yeah. But I don't know if that was, was that verified or not. Or? 713. No, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just ready to see all these guys. Because wasn't that these Tech Dell? Kill it. I think Tech Dell was 13 in college, right? Yeah. Yeah, because they were saying, I've. During the season, they were saying something about, oh, we should have kept 13 for, yeah, the CJ Stroud, Tank Dell. Right. 713, you know, which is cool. But, yeah. No, I just, I came in for the season. And, like, 
the draft almost feels like a bonus. Like, obviously, we have, you know, second, third round picks that when you draft people there, they're expected to, um, you know, produce or at least, you know, contribute. But I'm just looking forward to, man, we just, we're pretty stacked. So it's definitely maybe a safety, uh, you know, just like you said, best available. So, yeah. Yep. They just kind of like, hey, we're just doing that. We put in a lot of the work, you know, to like, you know, make so many moves that we just kind of sit back and take the best player. Yeah, I mean, and, yeah, for sure. No pressure. I mean, so there's pressure making those picks. Nobody's saying there isn't. But, right. Yeah. And obviously, he wouldn't have traded out of the, you know, the first, which obviously we're able to get use that for digs and all that. But they feel comfortable um, with it being a deep draft. So, you know, they yeah, obviously sure. feel good about that. And also, it's like one of those things where it's like, well, hey, you know, we can we kind of to just take the almost like best player available kind of that we kind of, you know, I think it takes a lot of decision making out of it, you know, uh, as far right. as importance on pick because we have a full roster, a good roster. So it's, Gonna make it easier for us to make a decision and maybe get a better player than having multiple holes and having to decide which one you want to try to fill. Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. And then we can actually to me, the later rounds, you know, you can kind of uh shoot your shot with people who have a high ceiling who maybe aren't there yet. You know, it's not so much of a we have to have this person to play this position. So, yeah, but now I'm looking forward to it. It does take a little bit of because we have the first round pick, but it's all good. Right. I, I like how, you know, our team is, I don't know, keep using the term stacked, but I don't know what else to say. Like, it's uh, an everybody's hype from last year in Stroud, but they did their thing in free agency. Like, we were active. Um, we addressed a lot of needs, spent a lot of money. So, yeah. It's ready for that season to start. Mm-hmm. Put it on the field and prove it. Get it in those, going. those new jerseys. <laughs> so what? So they were okay. So what's the some standard home and away are the same things, just white and blue jerseys? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, same yeah. uniform, just different color jerseys and pants. Yep. Like white on white or blue on white or. Right. Because yeah, we're only allowed to wear a different kind of helmet or jersey. I think it's only three times, which I wish they would do a little more, but it is what it is. Yeah. I kind of like that too, though. It's like kind of showcasing those. That you're, but whatever, you know, like I'm kind of, I'm not, I wouldn't say old school, but I just like the traditional just wearing that jersey. And I think it's cool to have those couple of to wear a couple times, you know, for a big yeah, they- game, a prime time game or, yeah. Yeah, we still don't know yet. We we've, we've got to have. Uh, I mean, the schedule. We know what teams we're playing, but you know, we're gonna have some primetime games this year. Oh, like we, we proved it. We're, we're gonna have some night games, primetime. Want to see those guys? Monday night football. Like <laughs> you want to yeah. see them? Yeah. 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 In the jerseys. <laughs> in the jerseys. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, just throw see that shot by himself. Yeah, I mean, he's, he would try those games, and then everything we've added, you know. Definitely oh, yeah. Be, uh, uh, some more. Yeah, it's more non noon starts. Definitely. Well, it's going cr- to be crazy seeing people actually talking about us and not talking down about us. You know, that's it's going to be the first year in a while where they're actually going to be all hyped up, national media actually talking good about us. So I'm looking forward to seeing the change on that too. Yeah, same here. Same here. A lot of that. To you know, uh, 180 degree difference than <laughs> definitely your last dumpster fire, you know, <laughs> big time. Definitely, it's nice. We got it all rolling in the right direction and looking good and feeling good. And can't ready, to, can't wait to just keep on playing good, you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Well, hey, well, uh, if you get time getting close to Mother's Day on May 11th, May 11th, run on down to Galveston, we got the hot sauce festival going on um yeah it's galveston hot sauce fest it's uh the 11th 
from we're trying to get some details. We're probably gonna be we, we are gonna be yeah. Doing any that. details are on the on the bottom ticker there. You can get yeah. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna be out there. From what I think, we're gonna have our own booth, and then we may we'll kind of work on some stuff with the organizer to maybe host the eating contest or something or be involved, you know, somehow. But we're gonna be down there hanging out, promoting, live streaming, talking Houston sports, some giveaways. Yeah. Uh, there it is may 11th uh 2 to 8 p.m so check us out man we're gonna be uh doing like john said we're gonna be doing the live stream all that good stuff yeah and i'll share on our facebook i'll share the uh actual facebook link uh so if you want to check out all the details details uh besides it, i'll put that that'll be on our facebook page for show all right well you can catch this episode of 3j sports on youtube or spotify 3j we're out